this video, I'm taking you along through one of my winter stays here on the farm. I thought some of you might be curious to see what I'm up to on a daily basis in the dark, muddy, wet season. Usually, I start early enough. Another wild day. Now, I head towards here. But I see something because it's still pretty dark up there in the sky and raining. Anyhow, first job. Let's open the door for the doggies to come out. But can you see Turnip? There he is. Hey Turnip, morning. I'd say Trudy probably still fast asleep. Rain in the morning isn't your favourite, is it, Turnip? You're always keen, always keen. Yes, Turnip. Good boy, come on, let's do the horses. Horses don't appreciate lions. They Good only horses. sleep three hours a day and are continuous feeders, which means their digestive system requires intake of food almost constantly. So by seven in the morning, they usually work their way through their nighttime rations and are more than ready for another top-up feed. Morning, Buttercup. Hello. Put the light in the barn on. Okay. Second most important job of the day. Is to let Buttercup out. It's okay, Buttercup. Intimidated by the camera so early in the morning. <laughs> Good boy. There we go. And here he comes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, stretch your wings. Oh, that's it. Did you keep Feed them in their cage because if I let them out at this time of day, they'll just get run out of the barn with excitement and get lost in the dark. So it's safer to feed them here, and wouldn't be fair not to feed them because that a cup gets fed. Look, here's your breakfast. Yeah. Oh, and there comes a turnip. Yeah, little cubby. Yummy breakfast. Right. Oh. You check everything, Turnip? Everything okay? Come on, we go and feed the horse. Daisy is currently on anti inflammatories because she has a touch of laminitis, a painful inflammation of her hoofs. I disguise the medicine by mushing it up with some tasty horse nuts so that she will eat it. Wheelbarrow is ready to go out. Good. I feed haylage in so-called slow feeders, big bins with a plastic grid to encourage the horses to eat slowly. Sky is in a separate stable. As a large horse, she has such different food requirements from the other small hairy cobs and ponies that it is most practical to keep her separate. She lives right next to Daisy and they can see and touch each other, which is important to keep them happy. Daisy gets a little bit of hay as well. to keep her going and that's less sugary than haylage so much better for her condition oh um no sky <laughs> i didn't realize you could reach over there push that down a bit you have your own stuff sky sky do you need your own breakfast? Ah. Okay, we're doing a short walk over. 
camera to oh hi good morning Judy you got up in the end yeah bit of a wet morning isn't it yeah walking over to where I store the cheap food I'm going to take the bucket with the food down to the house with me because the sheep are near the house so I have to walk up and down again here we are cheap food here we are four loads for the sheep The goats calling. Obviously, they heard the food bin. <laughs> Always hungry, but I leave them in their stable for a bit longer because otherwise they'd just stand in the dark and rain, waiting for me at the gate. So there wouldn't be much point in that. They can just go back to bed in a minute. Have another lie in. See you later, goats. I'd back up to the house first because it's still dark. So I'll wait for the light to feed the sheep. Tim got up as well, working away at his desk. And then it is my turn to have breakfast. Porridge with some cinnamon and a blob of Tim's bees honey is still my favourite. Whilst waiting for a bit more daylight, I do my yoga and stretching exercises. I find those so helpful for aching muscles and stiff bones, setting me up for another busy day. Well, we like our morning coffee, don't we? We do, yeah. We do. Very important um, tradition, ritual, uh, routine. Very Every good. morning. Every morning. Rain or shine. Rain mostly or rain. rain. <laughs> mostly rain. Wow! <laughs> Trudy, Trudy. Turn up. Yeah. It's the sheepies. <coughs> Hi, lads. First time. <coughs> After our morning there coffee, it's finally bright enough to continue with the chores. Sheep Ooh. first. Lush, lush. To do a bit of mucking out. Let's go. So exciting! So exciting! <laughs> Come on then, let's go. Now, first job is to let the chicken out. Plenty of light now for you to wander about the place. There we go. Whee. Any eggs? No. All right. Oh, <laughs> eating whatever buttercup is left. Yeah, why not? Wait. Hi, donkeys. Yeah. I brought you something which you will like. Yeah. Whoop. There, golly. Whoop. Whoop. You. There you go. Uh, that's one for each of you. No, Gordon. There you go, Gordon. Yeah, get your own. Right. While you enjoy your carrots, Oop. I go and mock out a bit with what a cup to supervise. Super. Now, this is the little stable for the donkeys and usually they make a big mess so 
I'll clean it all up. Next job, let the goats out. Oh, oh goaties. Hello, my name. Now you come out too. My name. Now I'll pick you some stuff later. I just want to see. Oh, yeah. Put some more water in for you. And you still have hay. You haven't eaten up yet, so. Yeah, that should do. All right. Come on, get some fresh air. Come on, out you come. I know it's not the brightest of days, but it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Stretch your legs a bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you just want treats, don't you? Treats you do. I'll bring you some later, okay? It's great to have helpers with me all the time. Buttercup and turnip are the best helpers fighting for attention sometimes <laughs> buttercup put turnip put turnip I know you're both trying your best to impress and Trudy you just stay in the background stay out of it exactly that's the clever girl now right next job we go in here to the guinea pigs and rabbits Rabbit boy. Oh, you are hungry this morning. Very hungry. Mm. Now, here we go. Oh, sharing is caring, guys. There we go. So, the last thing to do. Morning feeding is to go up this hill Oop. where my wild bird feeders are. Oop. Put a puddle in the birdhouse. Mm -hmm. Put a bird seed out because I love the wild birds around the place. And when you put a bit of feed out for them, then uh, they all come out of the bushes. You can actually see them and I get great joy out of that. We have peanuts as well here and then we have a little block of fat and seeds as well. Now next job. Wait Winnie, come on let's go inside. You're good. There we go. Yep. Now, come on in. Come on in. There you go. Whoop. Come on. Win. And Flora, you too. Come on. In you go. Good girl. There we go. That's it. We have 
a roll there. Ooh, lovely. <laughs> yeah, they love that every day. Have a good roll in the wood chips. Turnip. I know turnip. You could just open the door. Oh. Come on. Oh. Somebody very enthusiastic. There we go. Oh, Judy, turnip, turnip, come on out. Yeah. Henry, Henry has his rolling scratch as well. Yeah. Time. There is more. Guess what? Mock. Yay. So I'll get clearing that up while the horses are inside. you thought we've done all the mucking now well uh, have a look at this there's more to do over there yeah. right and if you thought that was all the mucking out come and have a look at this Here we have Sky's stable. It's messy as always. Stuff everywhere. Daisy's stable over there. Right, all mucking out is done. The horses are having a nice sociable time. Daisy's sleeping. Everybody else is hanging out, resting. Uh, Sky is pawing. And I did all the mucking out for now. So I go back down to the house and have another hot drink. Oh, some activity there now. That's what they like doing as well. Just running around a bit, having a little chase and play. Or mostly friendly. Doesn't always look friendly, but uh, yeah. Anyhow, good. Uh, yeah, hot drink. But of course, there's always something to do at my desk. I'll check on the uh, calendar sales and might put some calendars into envelopes to people who ordered. And then there's my Harry Henry Facebook page that needs updating and new posts put on just to keep customers informed and uh, tell them the news. And I have to update my events on my booking system for Harry Henry's. I have to check on bookings and camps and all that. So loads to do on the computer. And I check on all the comments coming in on our YouTube channel. And I try to reply as quickly as possible. Very important when I'm at the computer to check the weather forecast, see whether there's any changes. What have we got here? Uh, oh, no rain, not too cold, but relatively windy. What's on tomorrow? Oh, very windy. They call it a strong breeze. Okay, yeah, and a bit of rain. Hmm. So today we don't have any sessions on or any families or groups or children coming. That means the horses want to have some entertainment otherwise. But uh, I'm going to take these two to the beach for a little stretch of legs and to wash their skin and uh, yeah, to have some fun. Feet 
watch the bed. Now we're back from the beach and the horses are going back into their paddocks and stables. Uh, Winnie is already out waiting for her lunch but I have to put the rug on Sky first because I clipped her so that she wouldn't sweat so much when I ride her but of course when I don't ride her um, she doesn't have that hair to keep her warm, so I have to replace it with a rug, a nice pink one. Now we got Sky with her rug on, and we got Daisy. Oh, now, oh lads, easy now, easy. Come on, good girl. There we go. I'm going to lead you back to your stable. Right, lunchtime, lads. Okay, okay, it's coming, it's coming, Wayne, lads. Yeah. All right, greedy, greedy. Yeah, Henry, I can only go as fast as I can. No, Henry's and Sky's here. Buttercup gets a bit of extra food as well, sharing lunch with the two mares. They're nice horse nuts. Mm. Here we go, Henry. Mm. Lunch. Yummy. We have Sky waiting already. Waiting patiently. I know Sky. Last in the line. <laughs> Happy eating. Yum, yum, yum. And Daisy, guess what? You get some more hay. Special diet for you. Yummy hay. Oh, yum. Mm. Uh, oh, hang on. Piece of string there. Wait. I lowered that uh, hay rack a bit so that Sky can't steal stuff anymore from over the barrier. Okay. Uh, so that's the morning done. Every body jumping away on their lunch. I'm going to get some lunch too now and then we see how the weather is in the afternoon. We might get some jobs done outside. Right, okay. Mm -hmm, lovely. Mm -hmm. Happy sheep on fresh grass. We just uh, finished some fencing. Boo! And um, silly me, <laughs> it was so busy fencing that uh, I forgot to film it. But uh, please believe me, we worked hard on fencing for the last hour or so. And now the sheep uh, could move from this kind of eaten up place getting a bit muddy. Oh yeah, here's the fence banger, so that's the proof that we actually did the job. <laughs> uh, to this nice little green field where they can roam free and eat as much as they want. So this is where we had to improve the fence, just to show you what we've been doing. You can see the sheep found a way through, so we banged a few more staples in to keep the fence up and we had to 
replace some posts because they do rot after a few years so we banged in a few new ones it was sunny for a little while and it's just started clouding over again and starting to rain so I don't know what the best thing to do is now I might uh, find another job to do outside just before it's getting dark there's always plenty plenty of different things to do so and then it's more mucking out and feeding again so yeah <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> raining into my eyes now <laughs> but uh, that's the thing about uh, a big piece of land lots of fields and corners and beds and stuff everywhere that you constantly get distracted kind of and think oh yeah I, I need to do this job and that job so I was just walking up back to the barn to dig up a tree to replant and then I started uh, weeding this flower bed behind us so very narrow with leaves and weeds and sticks and stuff so that's done but the other job didn't get done but anyway one must do things to keep the farm pretty as well because that's important as well as functional and working and everything but pretty pretty is good too i can show you i hope that this bed will grow lots of daisies again you can't see very much uh, so there's big daisies coming up for summer and then we have we have wild strawberries here and under the leaves I found some daffodils pushing up and what else have we got? We have some primrose leaves so obviously the primroses were all pushed down by the leaves of this mighty oak tree above us there So these days without any sessions or outreach visits or anything uh, are useful to catch up on all the maintenance jobs of course that need to be done around the farm extra to the chores the daily chores so after my distraction of weeding our flower bed near the house for good measure i continued weeding here that's the main entrance to our care farm so our business entrance and of course we want that pretty come spring of course we want that pretty come spring so i did as much weeding as i could and there's primroses coming up already and a lot of flowers actually self-seeded which is lovely we have nasturtium seeds here so I hope they'll germinate and we have some we have some calendula seeds as well so oh hi Trudy hello <laughs> hello Trudy Trudy and turnip always have to check what I'm doing of course like 10 zillion times each day just in case I go to the beach again or another outing or something <laughs> So, uh, yeah, anyway, and oh, here comes Buttercup to check what we're doing, just in case it's something exciting that he could be useful with. Hi, hey, Buttercup. I better get to my birch tree that needs digging up out there. So, I managed to dig the tree up. It's a long, tall tree. Of course, really hard without a digger to get many of the roots out hooray I got the birch tree replanted just before darkness setting in so I'm happy about that because it didn't have many roots and it would have just been a terrible shame for it to dry out and suffer so it's a nice moist soil and I staked it too could do with another steak I'd say um, but one steak has to do just for this night
have another job every day is to check the hen cage whether they've laid any eggs in it of course it's kind of a lot of hit and miss and sometimes hens you like to lay in all sorts of places don't you like we found out that the brown hen found a place behind the um the water heater back there out of reach of the dogs very convenient but very hard to get for me uh, can you see it there's an egg down here <laughs> oh there's a cup as well <laughs> luckily i have a rubbish picker so i can get the egg Here we go. And a bit of fluff too. Now, that's today's egg. Thanks, brown hen. Time to pick some greens for the goats. They love dock leaves just as well because nobody else does. Nobody else seems to like them. My goats just complaining again. We complaining. Doc, I bring you some oats as well because I'm nice and generous and not that you need them. But oops. but but I give you something to keep you happy. Light on. Come on then. There you go. What happened to your door? Oopsie. Close that up again. Now, there we go. There's your little bowl. There we go. Now, oats for you. And there's some greens to go with it. All right, happy out. <laughs> yeah. Guys. Now, that's the goats done. Night night. See you in the morning. pigs and rabbits don't need anything in the evening they're all happy out and the donkeys are happy out as well they have lots of uh, straw out in the round feeder and well they pulled a lot of straw out so there's straw everywhere if they run out of hay then they can eat straw but they're in their little hut it's too rainy and wet isn't it Gordon yeah you stay tucked in that's the boy Oh, hi Gulliver. No, don't come out. It's all right. Nothing much happening here. No, Nell. No, you don't have to come out. I'm just talking to the camera and telling people all about you guys. Yeah. Well, we talked about you guys in the morning already. So, there we go. Night night. See you in the morning. Stay dry and warm. But I tell you what, um, <laughs> you can see it behind all the rain and wind and mist and the fog and the phone. There is a bit of a stretch in the sky. Look at it. There it is. The stretch is starting. It's the after solstice. So Very windy okay. evening. But what I'm trying and to point I out to you is the stretch in the sky. Definitely lighter in the west than on solstice day. There we go. Close up and now. And now I can turn. Now I can turn the light on to show you. It's just the best way it works for the hens. If you turn the light on first, they get all awake again and then they never go into their cage. So that's my technique. So that's the hens done happily eating your dinner. Oh, I can hear Buttercup. Next one is to try and get hold of Buttercup. He is getting his dinner too of goose food with some raisins. He loves raisins. 
but I don't know where he's gone. He's terrible for staying out too late. Buttercup! He could be anywhere up there now. He'll turn up when he hears me feed the horses, hopefully. Buttercup! Dinner time! Come on, Buttercup! Come on! Oh, not you, Turnip! Buttercup, come! Funny thing is, he always picks out the raisins first. <laughs> and then he eats the other pellets. Because the raisins are most yummy on me. You most yummy. Right, so Buttercup, better lock you up for the night. Not great to have him in the crate, but it's still better have it than having him out loose because he might just get into trouble and get stuck somewhere and he's just nice and safe in here. Uh, just in case, just like the chicken. So of course, when the horses were in the indoor arena here to stretch their legs, they did poos too, so I better go around and pick them up because it's nice to keep the arena clean and tidy before they trample it all into the ground. Okay, better get cracking. So, the arena is nice and clean again and I put my head torch on now. Hope it works. Oh yeah, it does. Uh, and I go and do a bit of mucking out outside and then that's done. I won't take you because it's all dark and you've seen me mucking out already in the morning. So, not very exciting. <laughs> now, I just noticed that our mains water is off. So, Sky has a very small drinker in her, uh, in her stable. I mean, with a small container to fill up. So, of course, she's drank all the water in the container and doesn't fill up. So, I'm just walking up to the field because I know there's a barrel of rainwater. And probably won't be too keen on that water because it's, it's not super clean and not from the tap. But that's all the water we have for her. So, Because when horses are not grazing, they of course eat a lot of dry food like hay and haylage and Sky gets uh, horse nuts and alfalfa and chaff and all sorts of things. So mostly dry stuff. So of course they have to make up for the lack of water in their food with water they drink. So they drink a lot more in winter usually. We just see now whether the sky is thirsty. Oh, and she is very thirsty. She didn't think twice about the murky water from the field. Very, very thirsty. So, yeah, so the mains water must have been off quite a while. Probably since lunchtime when she had a lot of dry food. Oh, poor sky. Sorry, I didn't notice earlier. I didn't need any water. So, yeah, I just hope it comes on again. Gosh, she, I filled up this bucket and she's halfway through already. Drinking and drinking and drinking. And of course the same with Daisy. She must be thirsty too. There was um, a nearly full bucket and there's only a quarter left now. That's as much as she, that's so that's how much she needed. She was very thirsty. Feeling better now, Sky? Yeah. Sorry I didn't notice. I'll bring you more water now. Alright. Oh, not finished yet. Drinking more. Yeah, that just shows how much she needed. There we go. I better go and get another bucket and one for Daisy too. So all horses are fed. Chomping away again there. I can do that in the dark. Don't need the light on. Because uh, horses do have night vision. 
It's not like us. We can't see much. I always close this door so that the wind doesn't get into the barn too much. All that's left now is to give this barn a sweep through and that's us done up here until the nighttime feed. Just put the buckets back into the tack room, feed room and uh, I have prepared their nighttime feed here so all I have to do is come up and dish it up later. Lots of lovely haylage for them to see them through the night. Right. So Turnip, we go down and feed you, all right? There we go. Right off in here. Uh, oh, I <laughs> put my torch on blinking now. Yep, right on here and we'll walk down. Okay, I'll close the barn door, leave the wind out. Come on, Trude, come on. Right, Trudy, turn up, eat, eat, turn up, good boy. There we go, two happy doggies, raggedy tails. Mm. Oh, thanks, Tim. Mm -hmm. Oh, this looks delicious. Thank you very much. Nothing better than a warm dinner and a fire lit, and maybe there's some good weather forecast on the telly if we turn it on <laughs> just as well it's all prepared the food from earlier sorry for waking you up again guys I'll be quick okay just reel out that haylage not like your normal water is it I'm sorry sky bad news that the water is still off so I had to carry more water in by buckets yeah it'd be a bit worrying for tomorrow but we won't think that far just yet for now it's just nice to see the horses tucked into their stable it's a pretty wild night out there you can hear the rain on the roof uh, more rain and more wind wind picking up so just good to see that the horses are in the dry and in the sheltered can see the house over there. I'm just walking down now from the yard. Porch light is on. Always nice to walk towards the light. The very last job for the night is to give Turnip and Trudy their biscuit. There you go. My night Turnip. My night Trudy. Good boy. And I go to bed too now. And that's one day done in the life on our little farm way out west. Lots of rain, some sun, many hungry and lovable animals, loads of muck and mud, but much fun too. It's just gone 10.30 now and it's time to tuck ourselves into bed so that we are rested to do it all again tomorrow. Good night.